In this video, I'll be showing you how to make end screen template videos. You know, when you get to the end of the video and there's two recommendations on the side, I'll be showing you how to make really well done templates just like those using your mobile device and the CapCut video editor. Now there's a lot we have to get into, so let's just jump into this tutorial. Now before we hop into CapCut, what you'll want to do is go into YouTube Studio and just add two of the end card videos to the end of one of your videos. And as you can see, what I did is I took a screenshot of my screen and now I know the exact position of where these end cards are. We'll want to do this so that way we know where to place our text, our arrows, and different effects like that, so that way we can get people to click on our videos. So be sure to take a screenshot and you'll see why here in just a bit. So let's go ahead and hop into CapCut. So first things first, we're gonna click new project and we are going to go and choose our video. All right, so I added my footage. This is just the last 10 seconds of usually one of my videos where I'm like, hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video over here, which is, you know, promoting those end cards. So I have that set up and now let's get into the specifics. So the first thing I wanna do is just click on this and then we're going to pinch just because we want to design this background behind our video. So what we can do is click on canvas and then we can click on background. And actually inside CapCut, there's all these backgrounds that we can use in our videos. So I'm just going to scroll through and find one that I like. Now I really like this blue and purple, so I'm going to stick with that. And we're just going to click the check mark here. And there we go. Now we have a nice purple background. And then with this video, what I'm actually gonna do is click on it, I'm gonna click edit and crop, and I'm just going to make it into a nine by 16 type video, like so, line that up, check mark, and then we can increase the size, like so, and move my face over here. So now I'm talking about, hey, you should click on this video that I'm recommending, and we have this spot where we'll have our video placed, and to help us with figuring out where these videos are, we're actually gonna click that overlay button, add overlay, and we're gonna go to that photo that I took of the exact spot where those things are. So we're just going to increase the size like so, and then we're just going to go over here, we're going to click on opacity, and we're going to lower it. So now, we can see that our end cards are going to appear here and here. And so now we know, okay, we should put some text here. We can put some text right here. So that way we don't actually put text and then the end cards blocking our text or the arrow isn't actually pointing towards the spot where the end cards appear. This is our little guide to help us. And then once everything's set up, we can delete this part um, and have an awesome end card screen. So we can click the check mark. There we go. Now let's get into designing this. Now the first thing I wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna click the text button and click add text. Now I'm gonna add something like, check out this playlist, exclamation mark. I'm gonna click the check mark. I'm just gonna pinch this down. There we go. And we're gonna move it right over the top over here. So there we go. Now we're gonna change the style and the settings here and get our text looking perfect. All right, I like how that looks, so I can click the check mark. And as you can see, it's gonna be right above this playlist. And then what I also want to do is add another text effect. So let's add another one. We can scroll it down here so it's not blocking. And maybe I want to promote my channel trailer, so that way people can learn about me and maybe even subscribe. So I'll do check out my channel trailer. There we go. We can move that over here. I'll actually have to shrink it down a bit just so it can fit perfectly over the top. There we go. There we go. We have some text above this one and text above this one. And for an added effect, let's actually go over to stickers and in here, we can actually use the stickers that are built within CapCut to add more attention to clicking on these videos. So I'm actually gonna, so I'm actually gonna go over to the arrows over here and I'm gonna find one to point towards our playlist. 
So I kind of like this yellow arrow. So I'm gonna click on that. There we go. Just do one arrow for right now. So we're just gonna click on that. And we are going to move it with our fingers. We have it pointing right at our, there we go. Just wanna line it perfectly there. So it's pointing right at the video. And then what we might actually do is add another one in here. Arrow number two added. You can rotate that and point that right at the other clip. Now, we wanna make sure this is extended for the full part of the video, not just this little section. So we can extend all those, including the check out my channel trailer and the other text here of check out my playlist. So that way they play through the whole video. And as you can see, our guide's already not really there. We can actually go now and remove the guide off of our video. So I can delete that. And we know that the videos are gonna be there. So when we click play here, now, if you want to learn more advanced editing tips with CapCut, be sure to click on this playlist here and help me hit 100K subscribers. And that's great. Now I have something here that's animated, but showing emphasis on, hey, check out more of my videos. And speaking of which, why don't you learn more CapCut tutorials by clicking on the playlist right over there on your screen. So that way you can learn more cool things you can do within CapCut. So I hope to see you over there. And other than that, thanks for watching this video.